Hi, Cancer. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your January 2023 tarot reading. This is a reading for all Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy New Year to all of you as we get closer to 2023. And thanks to all of you for all the support along the way. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are different every week. So um, this week, of course, is a monthly reading. Last week, I posted a reading of year of predictions for 2023. So if you have not seen that one, you might enjoy it. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Cancer? Messages for Cancer, please. All right, we'll start here with the tarot and then we'll have the angel answers current situation, we've got the Eight of Cups, the hero's journey. The immediate influence is the Queen of Cups. In your subconscious, you have the Three of Pentacles. In the distant past, we've got the Empress. In the more recent past, the Four of Cups. The energy, interesting, Three, Four. Energy coming towards you is the Three of Cups. Now, you're represented by the Page of Cups. The person or situation that you are attracting is the King of Wands. You have the Page of Swords and your hopes and fears. Temperance and the outcome, very solid. Now, the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Swords. So, we have here three major arcana, it appears. We've got quite a bit of water. We have Sagittarius and Taurus showing up. We have Earth, Fire, Air, so all the elements. Well, I do feel like for somebody here, you've definitely got a commitment. You have a marriage and an engagement card showing up. Now, of course, with the Three of Cups, it's also reunion, celebrations, and it's a nice energy as you come into 2023. But with the Hierophant here, he's a magic force called Fourth. Very deep card in terms of spirituality, high morals. So in terms of who you're attracting to, I also feel like any situations that King of Wands is going to be great for expansion. It's great for a career expansion, but also, too, in a partnership with someone. And with the Hierophant here, then, you attract somebody who is very integrous. People who mean what they say, say what they mean. There's no hidden agenda here. The Hierophant is also a card of unity. So it's bringing things together. You've got these two devotees down here who wear the yokes of union. So it's definitely things coming together, ideas, situations, but also, of course, people. And so... With the Queen of Wands, we've got both the King and Queen of Wands. I do feel like you're attracting a very fiery connection. Now, whether it's with work or with a love interest, there's passion and enthusiasm. And it's like, especially with work, I get it. Somebody who you really harmonize with and can play off of their ideas. Now, again, it's a different um, element, but that's okay because it's still important in terms of expansion. But I also get that too, though, with a love interest, somebody that you have a great you have a great connection with their intellect and humor so there's love there's passion but there's also that connection and so it just makes it a fun energy to be around and i keep seeing somebody in a kitchen so if you're going to be hosting a new year's eve gathering or you've got some kind of family gathering coming up just laughing and laughing and laughing you know people whether it's friends or family just seeing that real camaraderie and that sort of everyone kind of you know bumping butts in the kitchen, pardon me on that, but you know what I mean? When your kitchen's not gigantic and it's just got, or it's good size, but you've just got a lot of people. And you know how you, you kind of collide with one another and you kind of are laughing and it's, everyone's getting heated. And I keep seeing people in aprons. I feel like that's a part of it too, but either way, and I don't care if you're male or female, there's some real camaraderie coming towards you. And so with that four of swords, so that's an interesting card. Now, 
I mentioned you have a card of reunions for somebody here as you get into 2023 you have a love interest who comes back around especially if you're not talking and what I feel like they're trying to tell you is if you're not on speaking terms get into that happy joyous free energy go surround yourself with people don't worry about them disconnect from them because as soon as you retract your energy they are going to feel that shift and that's when they'll come running. That's why there's all these people who keep te teaching about like 30 day no contact and stuff like that. And, and that's fine, but it's also about that energetic shift, okay? Because energy is, is never created or destroyed. And so when you withdraw your energy connection from someone, they're going to feel that. And that's a lot of times why people start to return. Um, because they go, well, wait a minute, I need this energy connection. So either way, though, with that four of swords, if you end up, you know, if you're single and saying, look, I'm not going to reconcile, or you've got a love interest right now with that four of swords, it's also about getting yourself back to center. It's going to be great, too, for anybody who's a writer or any kind of a teacher because you have a, you have career expansion. The Four of Swords, like I said, gets you back to center and has you in that place where your ideas will come easily and frequently. Now, the Four of Swords, knock and the door will open, ask and it is given. So you've got a great energy as you start things off here, both water energy here. So that Eight of Cups is being in your life's purpose. So those of you, especially with the Queen being there, it's a passion, a new endeavor. It's like the pain pushes until the vision pulls. Now, quite frankly, you have no pain in this reading. There's no, there's really nothing significant whatsoever. Um, and it may have been in, a, in the past quite a while ago, so that's why it's not showing up in the cards. But it set you on that hero's journey with the Eight of Cups, that real recognition of we are divine beings. And so part of this too, I feel like as you get into 2023, you really see situations through the eyes of source. So you're not getting entangled in minor disagreements that turn into bigger disagreements because you see things as your soul would see them, especially with relationships and your interpersonal relationships with other people. That's going to be important both in work and in love and all the way around, really. And so with the Eight of Cups, it tells you there's a new cycle. You have the sun and the moon. The moon always mirrors the sun. And in the major arcana, the sun appears right after the moon because after that, you know, dawn, there's always a dawn after dusk, right? So there's always a new beginning. And so with the Queen of Cups too, you're going to be really feeling in flow, feeling in alignment. But the Queen of Cups is also important because very intuitive energy. So pay attention to your intuition. Follow that. They're trying to tell you, follow your intuition here. And if you're in a place where you say, I do need to move on in a job, I feel like something, there's a higher purpose or calling for you in some way, you may find that you're going to be taking that leap of faith in 2023. Now, it also with the Queen of Cups is saying, make sure you're on the list somewhere because she tends to give and give and give and doesn't really take time for herself. And so I do feel like they're trying to tell you to make sure that you don't spread yourself too thin. And that's part of why this is here too. This taking a break energy is making sure if you're having, especially if you are having people over or hosting, um, making sure that you're also getting yourself on the list there. So you're not running around trying to prepare and kind of forgetting about your own meditation or exercise or whatever it is that you do to be centered. Well, the Three of Pentacles is very harmonious energy. It's multiplication growth. It's an unfoldment happening here. So like I said, very harmonious energy. And especially in somebody that you're attracting with these threes together. Okay, so it's not just love and it's not just the merriment like we talked about. Somebody who you have this great connection with in terms of intellect and humor. It's also that long-term stability. And so I feel like too, you're going to know when to be serious and focused and when to be have you know having fun when to play and when to work um and if for some reason you end up working together in some way like you end up flipping houses or doing real estate or something like that together as a couple i do feel like it's going to be very lucrative um but others of you too with this three of pentacles it also may be not just the the union the relationship but also saying moving in together buying a house or moving in but selling two houses and buying a house, something like that, where there's going to be uh, there's going to be plans, plans for the future. And so this Empress energy, we love to see the Empress. I love it with the Hierophant, and also too with Temperance. I'll just switch her around here so it's more in order. Um, 
you know, when you start to see this in a reading, you've got depth here. Now, of course, the the Empress, the path to the heart, but she's ruled by Venus, ruled by love. She lives in luxury. She is the multiplier of forms and ideas. So I do feel like somebody here in the past, if you got a great idea, and I, if it's something like catering or something like with a side business, it, with this, it's it, the, the key to it, honestly, is that spiritual connection. So it is taking action with the King of Wands, but it's it's ultimately really being centered. That's the platform. And so with the energy of the Empress, she's also, of course, the the mother of the deck, the she's fertile. So anybody too, if if you have had kids in the past or there was a baby in the last year, it's just showing up here in the reading or if you're expecting right now. Um, but with this too, it shows up as a blessing in the reading. It's definitely a positive move. And especially with that three of cups, if there's a baby due, that three of cups really shows the energy of everyone around you just welcoming in this beautiful new soul into our earth school here. One more for the playground. So the four of cups comes in three, four, they're in opposite order, but that's okay. Um, with this four of cups, if you've been holding out and you're saying, look, I don't have a baby. Uh, yeah, I've had some good turns with my career. I did some things to my house last year and I was really happy about that. But why can't I find love? Where is the love? When are they coming in? Some of you are going to start to see a bit of a turn where you start to have more people interested in you. Now, if it's work related too, you may have more offers coming in, but just feeling like that's not quite the right one. Even when that happens, acknowledge it with the universe. Say, you know what? My energy is shifting. I'm getting more recognition. I'm having more attraction. And so with this four of cups, like I said, fours are about order and discipline. And so with this, my word, I couldn't get it to come up. With that four of cups, it's also saying I'm not going to focus my energy on something that I know is not for me. I'm not going to try to force it. I'm not going to try to make it work. I'm just going to wait until I'm in the right alignment. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So the three of cups comes in. Talk about the right alignment. Especially, too, when we start to see this is the energy coming towards you. I mean, there's a beautiful, harmonious energy. So, again, for some of you with that Three of Cups, it is a reunion. And with the energy of temperance, that's great healing energy. So, if you've been in a situation where a relationship has been strained or there's been a breakup or no communication at all, here's where things get back together. But this time, it's lighter. It's easier. Now, those of you, too, if you're attracting someone new... Again, this is a wonderful flowing energy, the um, energy of temperance, wear the world like a loose fitting garment. So nobody gets too upset about anything here. We've got that three of cups, those ladies dance, but they look at those cups because they know their value. So I do feel like too, Cancer, people around you are going to be very appreciative of you. I keep hearing I appreciate you, I'm feeling like you know, they value you in their lives. And so too, with work as well. I get that as well. And I hear too, courier. I keep hearing courier. If somebody has something to do with a courier. Now this um, page of cups here, pages are messengers. This represents you. You're going to have this beautiful, spontaneous social energy. I mean, there's like here social animal. Dear Lord, I'm not sure I like that to describe you. But I do feel like it's good. You're going to be like, you know, people are going to be like a moth to a flame with you where they keep wanting to be around you. And especially too, if you do host a gathering, I feel like they'll say, oh my God, let's get coffee tomorrow or let's meet up. You know, and they want more and more of this. Um, so with this law of attraction energy, you bring in, pages come in, they bring in a new energy and that's you. It's like you light up a room with this. So just be aware of that because you're going to have people wanting this and that's okay. It's just saying that it's all related to this aspect of love and feeling that love when they get around you. So the King of Wands, we've dabbled with this already a little bit. It's going to be great for expansion in terms of work. But it's also going to be, uh, in terms of who you're attracting, somebody who's very confident, very loyal, very committed, very upright. And I do feel like with this, there's an expanding energy. So again, they're not going to be afraid to make a commitment in terms of a relationship, either work or in a love relationship. They know what they want and they're going to go after it. And that's you. And so with the Page of Swords being here, now, with this page, he can be a little bit reluctant, right? He, he's a bit vigilant. He stands guard. He stands watch. 
And so I do feel like you're wanting to just have things move forward effortlessly without a lot of hangups. So I just say with this, we don't want to focus on what we don't want because where our attention goes, the energy grows. So we've got temperance, the Archangel Michael here that brings in love and healing to all areas of your life. That's the outcome here. And so with this temperance energy, it is absolutely thriving in change. That's the energy that you're attracting as you head into 2023. So I'm going to tell you the social aspects are increased. Their people are noticing you more. They're wanting to include you, whether it's socially or even with work too, you're going to get more attention. But again, like I said, it's thriving and change. You've got a dawn of a new day. A new beginning is showing up here for you. So let's see here what the angels have to say for you. Cancer. What else does Cancer need to know, please? Messages for Cancer, please. Advice for Cancer. All right, you have here, be assertive, all right? So that King of Wands is like an invisible hand in your back. The situation will improve, I should say so. Communicate clearly, so get clear about what you want and take action. And we have here, don't stop cancer because good things are on the way. I love you and I'll be back again soon.